most people, I'm what you would call a violent man. A man of hate. A serial killer. But to me, I'm just a man whose life's mission is to bring revenge on those who deserve it. Men and women alike. People who have no room to judge others when all they do is sin themselves. And if we ever cross paths, you knew it was for a reason. Now, before all the bloodshed and the way most people perceive me, I was once a man of innocence. This is my story, my struggle, my start in what would be soon my life's mission. My name is Michael James Thomas. I miss my brother, Michael McGavin. He was actually my half-brother, but a brother nonetheless. Blood is blood, right? As far as I can remember, he was always there to protect me. Always cared for me, especially after our mother died. time our mother passed, my family had already been gone. And my father, well, he was nowhere to be seen. He disappeared after I was born. So it was up to my half-brother's father to take care of us. But unfortunately, he wasn't what most people would call a good role model. My teenage years consisted of some pretty rough times. And even though my brother always had my back, it just seemed to never stop for me. Getting into trouble was a daily thing. I slipped into the criminal justice system and became a juvenile at a very young age. My life as I knew it was going nowhere. And eventually, it took some hard, tough love from my brother to get me to see the big picture. But by that time, it was too late. He was already gone, off to join the Marine Corps. It was then that I was shipped off to boot camp as well. And that's where things made it run for the worst. I didn't know it then. I didn't know that a 17-year-old kid defending himself against two pedophiles was consequence to receiving 15 years for manslaughter. But I guess others felt differently. But now I'm out and all alone cold traveling through this darkness in which I can only describe as a frozen hell. I've been on the road for almost a month making my way to my final destination. Exhausted, and most of all confused, torn between the revenge that floods my mind and 
the fatigue that surrounds my body. But with every step I take, I feel as if I'm one step closer to my answer. We will be reunited, brother. I know you're close. It's, it's too risky. steal from you or anything, man. I was just been on the road. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, hey. Take a seat. Take a seat. Jesus. No, I've been on the road. I just been so cold. Yeah. You I saw your shack. Don't, don't, don't talk. It's all right. Jesus. Look like you've been through hell. You need anything? I haven't eaten in days. Do you have any food? Yeah, we got some of the best damn stew around. <laughs> just, just relax, all right? You're okay. Just... You gotta keep it down. My dad's real sick right now. Okay. Alright, he's resting. Just relax. Alright. I'll go get you some stew. Self-defense, just like the first time. Hey there. You really shouldn't have gone snooping around in my stuff. That shit happens to people that way. But, you know, you go through my stuff, I go through your stuff. It's a really nice family you got there. Oh, nice family. Well, Don't! As long as they're in your memories. Son of a bitch. Oh. Sick fuck. Yeah. Well, guess what? I'm not the one that walked into somebody else's shack and decided to go through their shit. You did that. You're the one that's... You're the reason. 
that you're in this scenario right now. Sick fuck. I'm a sick fuck. But you, my good friend, are soon to be one dead fuck. What are you, cop? Hmm? I told you I was just trying to get warm. Are you a cop? I told you I was just trying to get warm. Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. Because to me, you're just a dead fuck. And it doesn't matter who you are. You're not telling anybody. You're never getting out of this shack alive. See, you called me a sick fuck earlier. This is it, Michael. Do what you do best. Don't let this piece of shit get the best of you. So I'm giving them the out. I'm making it so they're gonna go to somewhere peaceful. They're gonna go to heaven. They're gonna be with their friends and everything. And it's oh, they're gonna be. The half-dead man coming back to life. Okay. What are you gonna do, huh? Good job, Michael. This is just the beginning. Go to the lake. You're almost there. What's that sound? It sounds like voices. Don't blow this, Michael. You're a free man. Back there with self-defense. Just hold off a little bit longer. It will be then that you can start what you've been destined to do. Oh yeah. It's great narrating there, Paul. Thanks, man. Whoa, whoa wait. What? Gotta make sure Blake and the fuck is that. This guy. So? Guys. Hey! Hold you alright over there? Hold on, hold on. God, guys, relax, Paul. Uh, I'm, start. I'm sorry? Well. I'm cutting through the woods here. I'm trying to find the oh, really? complex estates, and I, my compass is all jacked up, so I got turned around. Uh, you're far away from any kind of yeah. estates. <laughs> oh shit! Mm -hmm. Get out of the way. If you're walking, it's at least another day walk or so. That is just my luck. I'm James. I'm oh, Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. What so, are you guys doing out here? It's our buddy Quincy's uh, cabin. Enjoying oh. the nature. You guys got a cabin nearby? Oh yeah. Sure. You're more than like you're more than welcome to you know fucking chill. That'd be a pretty cool. I, I wouldn't mind that at all. Yeah, you know, come on, you dude. Sure? We'll take we'll take you back. All right. Thank I'm you. sure somebody has a phone up there. We appreciate this. Oh, not a problem, problem bro. This will be better than squatting in the woods for the night, you know. <laughs> so, uh, what's your story? Charmin. Oh man, it's a sad story. I'm afraid. My wife left me a few years back, and uh, then I did a stretch. Nothing too serious. A couple of traffic tickets that I didn't show up for court. So they issued a bench warrant. Uh. So I've been trying to find my brother ever since I got out of the clink. Oh, your brother? Yeah. So where are you from, uh, James? Milwaukee, originally. Well, Milwaukee? No shit! Yeah. Are you kidding me? We're from Rolling Hills, dude. Oh, no way. <sighs> there we go. See, James? Right up here, buddy. Oh, shit. You know what? Look at that. What? Oh, my compass started working. Okay, I know. Dude, come on up. No, you, you ain't know gonna what? stay I'm, for hot dogs? I'm good. I know I'm going west now, so I'm gonna head west until I hit my destination. You know? Yeah, see you later. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. Man. Dude, you got a cell? You know what? It's been nice meeting you guys. Yeah, we got a. We're both Wisconsin boys, right? Yeah, we just bought tickets to a Black Soul Swamp concert. It's going on in a couple months. All right, it's all in there, man. Give me a ring, dude. All right, it's nice meeting out. you. Nice meeting you guys. Catch you later, mysterious drifter man. Hey, Tommy! Who was that guy? Who? The guy you guys were just talking to. Uh, What's his name? James. Yeah, James. He's a weird guy. Good music taste, though. Where's Andrew at? Taking a piss? Yeah. <laughs> man to pee, but... I don't know. Could be Polish Mans. Because you're new to the group. Fantastic fuckers. How the fuck do you know this guy? Well, Gurr's on his first case. First case? 
Mm -hmm. And Michael Jim's Towns. A little bit out after the courtroom. Who shot who now? Ended up talking to him. No, we're just talking about how these guys met Tommy. The conviction. For a little while, and they just got close. Huh. Holy well, shit. What he said. Broke I just put some more wood on the fire. That's why it's going to stay burning all night. Lake here. How y'all doing? Foothills of West Virginia. Brother, you never fail to amaze. How did you know they would both be here? I was shocked as it is coming face to face with my lawyer's apprentice, Blake. He didn't know who I was, but I knew who he was. And then, wouldn't you know it, I crossed paths with the man who failed to find me innocent so many years ago. My lawyer, Tommy. Missed you, brother. It's been a long time. Yes, it has, though, brother. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready to bring hell to those motherfuckers that did both of us wrong. My lawyer and his protege, a few of their friends, were camping in a cabin less than a mile away from where we are right now. Artist, you ready to do what needs to be done? I've been ready for a long time now. We have the location picked out? For our meet? Absolutely. But first I'll go. I'll infiltrate their ranks. I'll make them trust me. And then when they least expect it, we'll bring hell all down upon them. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Are you sure? You positive? All right. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll talk to you later. Hey, was Paul, I just went over that footage from the camping trip a few weeks back. Awesome. Fuck, dude. I got bad news. What? It's Tommy. He's gonna have to pull out of the Black Soul Swamp concert. No, 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 bullshit. I, I bullshit. just got off the phone mm -hmm. with him. No, he, he said something about being busy at work. He's got this big case coming what? up. I don't know. And he gave me some crap about you. And he said you should be doing the same thing. You know, you got that big bar exam coming up in like a month. I knew this was coming, dude. I knew this was fucking coming. I fought tooth and nail for that motherfucking ticket. That ticket was expensive as hell. I know. We can't let it go to waste. I don't know. Fuck him. Well, God damn it. But what are we going to do about it? Damn it. <sighs> Motherfucker. I got an idea. Okay. Hey, James. Yeah, it's Blake. Yeah, I'm sitting here with uh, Paul. Yeah, the asshole from the woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, um, one of our buddies dropped out of uh, that concert I told you about uh, a few weeks back. Yeah, the Black Soul Swamp concert. I was wondering if you wanted to go. You got an extra ticket. Sweet. Awesome, Excellent. dude. Sounds good. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Later, bro. He's in. Perfect.
Rock dude. Block this weekend was great. What a kick-ass weekend, man. Black Soul Swamp rocked. So rocked. Yeah. Got to turn around. Good job, Andrew. Andrew. Getting, getting us drive. fucking lost. Well, you know, James would give us better shifting <laughs> directions. Hey, hey James. Guys. There's a rainbow. What are you doing? Stop. Come on. No, that's good. Hey, do you want to help him out? Hey, buddy. What you doing? Actually, my car broke down a ways back. Oh, that's you down there? Unfortunately. <laughs> I thought those people were idiots. You think you guys uh, can give me a ride? Yeah, you need a, where do you need to go? I'm just going down the road, not too far. I just need to get a part for my car. All right, yeah, come on. Sweet. Hop on in. Back seat's open. Here. Whoa, whoa, hey, buddy. Well, I'm out here. Buddy, buddy. You guys should sit in the front. <laughs> Scoot over, idiot. <laughs> I hold my mitt. I got you, man. Your mitt's right here. How you doing, man? Oh, God, All you right. Guys How are you, fellas? Here? Shut <laughs> up, man. Oh, good. How are you? God damn We're good. You good? Well, considering. Yeah. yeah. My name's uh Michael. Michael oh. McGavin. Cool. Mike James. He's got my phone. Dude, no, he no doesn't. Way. No, he, he doesn't have it. Just go Dude, check. There's no way he's even still Drew, there. Drew, man, can I borrow your truck? I'm going back no, up there. Dude, man, you got your own car here. I'm not going to use my truck for that crap. Dad, dad, dad. Dad. Quincy, 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 Quincy. Dude, yo, right. bro. It's kind of common knowledge not to pick up a hitchhiker. I mean, come on. He really well, wasn't hitchhiking. Josh, he was his car walking. broke he down. He was walking. He wasn't a bad guy. It was like your car broke down and somebody asked you, you need help? Actually, Where the fuck is Paul? He has been gone uh, like, yeah, for a he's while, been hasn't he? Right. It's been like an uh, hour since he left to go find his phone. He is probably flagging down every person he's seeing walking <laughs> in between here and a 30 mile radius <laughs> asking if he has his fucking phone. Right. Wait for the ice cube. Just be careful of the ice that's made with the water. Hello? Hey, what's up? Oh. Hey, we're trying to listen to a story here, jackass. Rude. That's why I'm walking right? in the other room. But you did it when you first answered, dick. Oh, excuse me. Hold on a second, all right? Is everyone there? Hey, everyone's here now except for Paul. He left just a little while ago, looking for his phone. Yeah, he thinks you have it. I know. <laughs> that dumbass has no idea that it's been on me the entire time. I think Paul is back. He just pulled into the driveway. Look, Mike, do me a favor. Save Blake for me. I've got plans for him. We discussed this. This isn't a part of our plan. No, I know. I know. He should be leaving in a little bit anyway. He's got his bar exam tomorrow. Once you see him go, come on in. All right, then. All right. Let's do this. I'll see you in a few, brother. Very good. Hey! Uh, you... Oh, damn What's time. wrong? So did find you find your phone? phone? Yeah. Well... What's up, fine, Paul? No! Oh, that sucks. And you're eating pizza at a time like this. I'm heading out. Blake, Aww. don't be a pussy and hang out. I got a huge test tomorrow. Uh, can I at least borrow your camera? I want to get all the recording from the show and everything. Check your car for my phone, okay? Maybe it's in there. Oh, no, this hey. is starting to think rationally hey. now. Hey, Blake, if you find his phone, call him. Random <laughs> <laughs> <That was good. laughs> <laughs> animals. It's all the garbage of the rest I don't of the mirror. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, this sounds good to me too. I'll take two. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> Who the, the hell something? is here? Hey, honey, you expect anybody? Someone order pizza? No, we got a hot dog.